Hello, Namaste, welcome to another session with Live to the Fullest. Today we are in for a treat. I am super excited. I have the world's most, uh, probably the most well-known topic in astrology called as seven and a half year transit of Saturn or Sade Sati. And on the other hand, we have an amazing guru, world famous astrologer, Sri E.K. Dilip Kumar, who will be answering a lot of questions for us related to Sade Sati. So we're in for a treat. So buckle your seat belts. Before we dive into the question answer session, for those of you who may not know astrology or may not be students, but have just experienced uh, the symptoms of Sare Sati perhaps, a very quick two minute intro to what Sare Sati is and then we will dive right into the questions with our Guruji. If you're not an astrologer, not a student, but you have experienced the symptoms of Sare Sati, this video is going to be very, very useful for you as well because some of the generic symptoms of Sare Sati are you could, you know, uh, have issues in your job, in your profession, you could go jobless or you could have very high stress job. Uh, you could uh, face loss of loved ones or, or, or dear ones. Uh, there can be unnecessary stress or stress that has come out of nowhere. It will seem like it has come out of nowhere. Uh, there could be relationship issues. There could be breakups. Uh, there can be any kind of stress. There can be progeny issues. Uh, like I mentioned, they can be enemies or losses, uh, financial losses or emotional losses or losing a loved one or there can be litigations and court. But it's not all bad. I don't want to paint it as all bad, but it is definitely a challenging time period for most of us. But this is where our guru, Sri E.K. Dilip Kumar, is going to resolve a lot of queries for us. And I'm very excited to have those uh, specific questions for him which he's going to help us answer some other generic symptoms may include like there could be hair in the food suddenly there could be a lot of home appliances going awry there could be seepage in the house some kind of discomfort or maybe a lot of uh, moving around people have to move around uh, from their homes or a transformating uh, transformative phase there can be infestation you know rats or termite infestation suddenly happening uh, or people may start sporting, you know, those who've never sported a beard suddenly will start sporting a big beard. If you or your loved one are experiencing any of these symptoms, it could potentially be a Sade Sati phase for that native. Astrologically speaking and mathematically speaking, Sade Sati is defined as when Saturn, the transit Saturn, which means current Saturn, is 45 degrees uh, away from the moon, from your natal moon, also called as the birth star or Janma Nakshatra. It will pass over the natal moon and then it will go for additional 45 degrees ahead. That period, that duration is called as seven and a half year transit or Sare Sati. And that is because Saturn is a slow moving planet. It takes about two and a half years for it to roughly cross 30 degrees, uh, which means one Rashi or one sign. So hence the total 45 degrees plus 45 degrees is 90 degrees, two and a half years for 30 degrees, that totals up to a period of seven and a half years for the transit. And why uh, Saturn? Saturn is the karka for karma. He's the lord of karma. He is the one uh, who believes in tough love. Uh, he believes in, in, in giving the right lessons. It's actually for our growth. Sare Sati is not all about challenges only it's challenge with a purpose it's the purpose to help us spiritually evolve to actually become better people to actually have more uh, meaningful life uh, meaningful karma not just enjoyment not just pleasures not just being selfish so there's a very deep and profound meaning behind uh, what saturn does you know saturn uh, as the lord of karma is is kind of like the auditor during his Sare Sati transit or seven and a half year transit, he kind of, uh, he's already the Lord of Karma. He's already a tough taskmaster, uh, but very, very generous and very, very giving to people who deserve it. If the person has deserved it, they're going to get the rewards. However, during transit, the seven and a half year transit, uh, you know, the Lord of Karma is stricter at that time. It's more like an auditor, it's more like an invigilator or an examiner. 
so he is going to have different rules and protocols at that time, uh, just more enhanced strictness. So uh, this period immensely helps us burn karma, our old karma. So we not only have to be careful because our old karma is going to pop up and we're going to go through certain emotions and it may involve a lot of suffering or pain or may involve some discomfort. The intensity will vary depending on the person's overall chart. But the most important part is what are we doing now and moving forward? What karma are we creating while we are facing that suffering? So that part is also very important, uh, not to be um, undervalued at all. So it's not just about going through what is coming from the past, but it's also about how we're going to respond to it, how we're going to handle it. Can we do certain remedies? Can we uh, take to spirituality or God or divine power? So without further ado, let's dive in with the world famous astrologer and karma mentor, Dilip Kumar. Om Ganeshaya Namaha. Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshwara, Guru Sakshat Parabrahma, Tasme Shri Guruve Namaha. So we have our beloved astrologer, our beloved Guruji in the house today for our session for Sarasati, uh, Shri E. K. Dilip Kumar. Uh, uh, he's a world famous astrologer spanning three decades of uh, his uh, career as an astrologer but all us you know students and people who know him his his clients worldwide they know him and respect him more as a karma mentor uh, because he beautifully explains what is the reasoning behind you know it's not just go do this go do that but why why are you facing a certain situation and what you, should you do about it? So, very blessed and honored to have him in the room today. So, welcome, Guruji. Welcome. Thank you for that lovely introduction. Uh, so, today we are going to talk about uh, one of your favorite topics. And also, I will, I do want to credit, give you this credit that it's not just me, but many of us have learned so much about um, uh, Saturn. Uh, and uh, the importance of Saturn, uh, the importance uh, of that planet from karma standpoint, and also how it betters your lives, uh, maybe through tough love sometimes. Uh, so today we are going to dive into some of those questions. Uh, uh, would you like to say something before we get started? Yeah, we are right now, as we record this, the star is still uh, Vishaka Nakshatra, trying to become Anuradha, which is the Saturn star, maybe at the time when we finish this recording, maybe it is the Anuradha Nakshatra that belongs to Saturn himself. So right now we start with the Jupiter Guru Nakshatra and then switch over to Saturn Nakshatra. So it proves the you know the the power of this graha over everything else. Correct, correct. Uh, what what an amazing observation. Uh, so, Guruji, we wanted to start with, you know, we uh, understood some of the basics uh, of uh, what Sade Sati is, which is a transit. Uh, one of my first questions to you uh, would be that in your amazing career, spanning more than three decades now, what is the most, maybe one or two key stories that you can remember related to Sade Sati? And uh, it could be challenging, maybe one example of something very challenging. And it could be maybe one example of something which was accomplishment based, but in Sade Sati. So that'd be great. See, first of all, even before going to anything specific, I'd like to um, bring to your notice a, a very interesting aspect of uh, uh, the human mind, the questioning mind. Uh, you know, the very nature of uh, all of us. Um, for example, when uh, I started my career um, as an astrologer, uh, I mean, I have my office in Chennai, India. And uh, when I started, um, Transit Saturn was in Sagittarius. Okay? Okay. I mean, until then I was doing... Uh, I was not a professional, though I was consulting uh, 
even maybe five years even before that. But I, I turned professional only when Saturn came into Sagittarius. And I have always been observing patterns. I was, uh, you know, very interested in, in patterns in everything, not only astrology. In everything, I was always observant of that. And I noticed that more than, I mean, just like 50-50, instead of saying like that 50-50, but it always almost 80% and above. The people who came to me were, For the I mean, 80% yeah. of them was always Sade Sati. Mm. They were in Sade Sati. So just imagine this. Um, now you can argue, oh, that's because they are. They may have known that they're in Sade Sati, they got inquisitive and they came for a consultation. But I was surprised many times when I said something like Sade Sati, in Tamil Nadu we call it Yel Rasani, like that, which is more popular term. I just say, what is that? Some of the, you know, as, especially the the educated ones always said, I don't know anything called uh, Savananda of your Saturn. And what is this uh, transit about? I've not heard about it. I said, it's the most popular that uh, maybe every every Indian knows about this, but how come you do not know? No, I don't know. Uh, I am, you know, I've studied in IIT or I studied here or there. They'll be a little proud about themselves and say, I don't know anything about it. So then I was just wondering, how does, how does this, what is the methodology or what is the reason why they come for consultation only during this time? And most of the time they said, this is the first time I've come for a professional reading mm -hmm. also. Yeah. And uh, since I have seven planets in Capricorn altogether at the time I was born, I seem to have attracted uh, more of this, uh, you know, something to do with Saturn all the time across my, th you know, three decades. Mm. I don't know if, if it happens to every other astrologer in the same way, like how it happened to me. But I seem to be there is some synchronicity between me and the people who are going through Sade Sati. Mm. And even before I became an astrologer, I was only thinking you know, discussing, debating only on karma. Mm. Even uh, maybe, maybe hard to believe, maybe from my fourth standard onwards, which means I was very young. As a, as a child, I started discussing about uh, karma. karma. Like, why is it all happening? Why is a certain kind of experience coming to a, why Why is a person going through an experience and why the other person is not going through what really is the reason for all this? So I was continuously asking people. And that led me to more and more stories. And I was lucky that uh, I got hold of all the Amar Chitra Kadas, uh, you know, those books. And uh, that, that got stuck, you know, I got started on the Indian uh, philosophy side, uh, especially because Indian philosophy is uh, basically revealed to us uh, through stories. Uh, we know that, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Through the stories. So it was very helpful. So when I when I observed when I started these consultations, I saw I saw that they were either Vrishikarasi people or they were Sagittarius uh, moon sign. I'm talking about moon sign. Okay. Right, right. So please understand that whenever we talk about uh, seven and a half years Saturn, uh, the the face, we are always referring to the moon. Mm -hmm. If you try to use it on lagna, it doesn't work in the same way. You know, in the in the at the accuracy level, like what I'm trying to prove uh, to all of you that. The, the people who have their moon in uh, Scorpio, Sagittarius, and uh, Capricorn, okay, in the oh. that is Vrishtika Rashi or Dhanush Rashi or Makar Rashi, right. they, they came to me more often than the other people. Wow. So even before I go into the consultation room, I'll be thinking, okay, one more uh, Sagittarius, Sagittarius moon sign is going to come. And when I open the book, it'll be that. My God. Yeah. That was something, you know, like uh, you can't set it up, right? <laughs> you can't filter and say only those who are uh, going through Sade Sati, please come to my office. I'm not going to do that. People are going to request for a consultation and my office was, uh, you know, fixing up the appointment. And the best part of all this is all those people who worked in my office till date, even now, mm -hmm. they don't know anything about Vedic astrology and they're least interested in Vedic astrology. <laughs> only for the first time, a top student... Uh, uh, has joined my office. This is the first time. Mm. But every other staff, they have zero interest in astrology. They just work for the salary. That's it. Mm. Then the interesting part was when Saturn, you know, moved into Capricorn, mm. the Kumbarashi people started coming in. 
and then I, I was expecting those who are Vrishika Rashi, they are going to drop out. You know, like I, I was able to, you know, uh, I was thinking, you know, when the when when Saturn moved out to Capricorn, Saturn is in Capricorn for me. Okay, and that particular two and a half years was a phenomenal turning point in my life because it it came back to Lagna. So when you read from Lagna, you have a different approach to it, and you will not use the term Sade Sati. Mm. Right. And that was my th that phase was my biggest turning point because I got introduced to all the celebrities, the VVIPs of the nation. Everything happened when Saturn came to Capricorn, which is where it is there in my horoscope. I have a, a debilitated Jupiter and a Saturn there. It, it created a Nietzsche Bhanga Raj Yoga. Somebody you know came for interview. This that all kinds of things happened. So as you know, it was so interesting. It was almost like like a video game. Saturn was moving and the client, uh, you know, the group also started shifting in accordance to the Saturn's movement. Wow. And you'll not believe it. Now Saturn is back, you know, at least now it is in Cap, uh, you know, Kumba, Aquarius. Right. You know, most of the time, uh, Makarashi people and uh, Kumbarashi and Minarashi. Yeah. This is the highest incidence. Or it could be Ashtamashani, even that. Mm -hmm. So that is the next level, you know, once you say it's not, uh, you know, seven and a half years at time, then the next thing is, uh, are you going through Ashtamashani, which is the eighth house transit from the moon? Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, any other transit, I never even bothered. At least I never bothered. Yeah. But the clients are, you know, nowadays they're very, you know, they picked up a lot of astrology from uh, YouTube videos and books and so on. So they know every little thing. Okay, it comes to fourth house, it comes to seventh house, then what happens? They know the terms like Kantakashani and, and they can play around with all this and say human life is always in trouble. Yeah. But these are these are basic things about human existence itself because already some a statement like in Christianity, they say, right, uh, thou shall... Uh, from now on, uh, live by the sweat of thy bro. That means you're going to suffer. And the Buddha says, life is suffering. So just because b human life has a lot of suffering in, uh, within it. So if you say Saturn is in the uh, fourth house, bad. Fifth house, bad. You know, seventh house, bad. Eighth house, bad. Ninth house, bad. You can keep on, you know, saying and accounting even uh, from Faladipika's point of view that Saturn is good only in 3, 6 and 11. Mm -hmm. But you notice when it comes to the 10th house, uh, somewhere around halfway through, it starts you know, improving. It tries to open up some you know, doors because it's going towards the 11th, yeah. at least. Yeah. But I always found the when you say the good side of Saturn, mm. uh, that was not actually you know, really uh, as we expected. You know? It was not like what we thought. Uh -huh. I even I, I even saw some people suffering when Saturn was going over the third and sixth and eleventh also. Mm. Surprising. Mm. But on the other hand, if you take the the Sade Sati alone, mm. the kind of experience that they uh, you know have gone through is almost the same thing for everyone. Mm. Standard statement from all the people in the world. Uh -huh. It's it's never been like this before. This is the statement. And they say, you know, you know they, they tell me uh, in a very, I don't know, whatever, egoistically or humble, they'll say, sir, one of my prayer to God is, God, don't give me this trouble to anyone else because they can't withstand this. And I heard the same thing from thousands of people. Because wow. for them, uh, they are the center of this universe. So they can only see life from their point of view. And so when they see the suffering, they will not know there are, you know, maybe millions of people, uh, you know, uh, worse than what they are going through. But they don't seem to accept that. They'll say, no, uh, I'm only praying to God, not for him, for myself, sir. But I'm praying that nobody else should be given this kind of suffering. Yeah. They become very <laughs> philosophical. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, for when the parents consult for children, I mean, especially the school going and maybe the transition from school to college, they'll say, I don't know, my son was studying so well until now. And then suddenly things change. And then when I started inquiring, some uh, my neighbor told me, your son is going through seven and a half years at her. And then I thought I should come and see you. Uh, That's how I come. Uh, and uh, there are a lot of telltale signs, you know, like uh, simple things like, dandruff all over the you know 
the head yeah. hair fall or hair in the food or a stone in the food i mean this this could be even otherwise also but you will find a, a pattern for example as soon as they they put their hand on the food the first thing they'll pick up will be a hair mm. it'll always be a hair and uh, the 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 crow trying to hurt people you know it pecks on the head happened many times i know of a lady who came to me and wanted only that explanation why did this i mean i was injured by uh, crows in three different places on a saturday that was also a 17th oh my god yeah because she she read my articles and blogs and you know my video and then said oh this is saturn but how is it possible will it ever happen for the rest of eternity that a lady can be hurt by uh, a crow in three different places on the same day and that happens to be a saturday and also a 17th she is going through sade sati sade sati you understand so i came to the conclusion that if you want to prove astrology all you need to do is just study sade sati enough Good. the other one is ketu mahadasha mm very, very you can have it as a part two of our discussion yeah. okay <laughs> so uh, so uh, but there are certain things about uh, you know even in this pattern for example when the dasha and antadasha is bad mm. okay Mm. then sade sati doubtlessly there will be a problem mm. or let's say sade sati combining with a ketu mahadasha oh my L- god let's say yeah let's say ketu is uh, maybe in the 12th mm. maybe in the 8th which mm. is what maharshi parashara has said right okay. if ketu is in the 8th or 12th it's going to be really tough very very difficult and on top of that you are having sade sati mm. so what so uh, this sade sati even before we say i mean we speak ill of this uh, graha often times uh, you know people say what have i done why are you doing this to me and so on mm. so it usually starts with the you know we are uh, typically doing the blame game again and again it's saturn not accepting that this is what we have done it is our karma and whatever we have done is coming back to us that's all correct and we are we are not noticing that and instead we say i have done nothing you know who i am i'm such a nice guy mm-hmm. i'm god fearing yeah. this that yeah. everything fine but i don't know when sade sati ke everything went down from uh, you know some in some horoscopes uh, there are you know typical uh, you know a full blown sade sati effect anyway as the as we go further into the Uh, discussion i i'll come up with those ideas but this is one thing i noticed that um uh, i mean this interesting pattern that uh, and and i used to i at, at a point i even j- start started joking just wait a little more and after the sade sati will never come back for a consultation and you will not believe it it has happened always like that <laughs> they said no guruji i want to see you every year i just want to come and get recharged and no, you're not going to come <laughs> because things are going to change change right right and so we have uh, like stories of like nala damayanti story where it is exactly 7 and 1/2 years but mm. for most people it is not 7 and 1/2 it mm. could be intense 2 and 1/2 and that's it or mm. it could be intense 5 years or it could be in- intense 7 and 1/2 years completely mm. it it changes in accordance to uh, the ashtaka varga of the uh, i mean in maybe saturn's ashtaka varga or the sarva shavarga score involving those signs and uh, if you if you try to bring in the other parameter i mean there are two more parameters that you have to look into one what about the overall horoscope correct correct i mean you need permission from the overall horoscope to go through an experience right yeah. so if you don't have a permission in that nothing is going to happen i mean i'm talking about negative things correct correct and there will be there will be people who say uh, sir uh, people are talking about sade sati and i know i'm going through one but uh, life is just the opposite I, i i don't see anything at all yeah does it i mean do you really think this astrology works and i say you are the lucky the, the remaining 20% of the world you know where you don't actually see the negative side so i came to this conclusion that sade sati is like exam time so it's easy to you know think of a, a, an analogy and understand the situation like exam and I always ask people is exam good or bad mm mm correct, correct. then uh, they will 
you know, wait a minute, let me think. Exam, good or bad? Oh, for students who are studying well, it is the time that they're waiting for. Because now the exams will be conducted and they'll get the good marks, they'll get gold medal, and then they'll move on further, you know, like, mm. I mean, it's going to be, but when they go through the exam, they are not going to be happy. They'll be stressed. So yeah. one thing common for Sade Sati is, anyway, it is stress time. Mm. Anyway, which whatever, whatever you say, it will be stress. Mm. Okay. Mm. So, um, I first, uh, we should take this stance that it is not always bad. Mm. Okay. Mm. It is, it is mostly bad because most of us don't study like that. <laughs> Think about it like that. Right. Most of us don't study. Always this 80-20 formula. And then incidentally, Saturn is, Saturn's number is eight, 8. And the whole world, everybody has used this 80-20 formula. Yeah. Yeah. Right? So yeah. you take a class, only 20% will study. Meaning uh, very motivated to study. And for them, when the exam comes, they'll be very... Actually, I mean, for them, it is like, uh, wow, the exams have arrived. Now I'll have to prove that I'm... I've really done my karma. I've done I done what I should have done. And and so you will see the other 80%, they'll be also stressed, but they'll also start, you know, noticing, uh, you know, like, for example, they may fail. They may not get the required marks and all their dreams are dashed to the ground and so on. So you will see lots of, you know, at least uh, this divide will happen. So when you say something like, it's like, uh, is cholesterol good or bad? Right. Mm -hmm. And now the whole world has been confused with this and doctors and some of them who, uh, I mean, you call that, uh, you know, you call it the med medical mafia, whatever they have <laughs> used. Uh, they have used this idea. Cholesterol is bad and it's not a lie because you have bad cholesterol and good cholesterol. Yeah. So if you say Saturn, uh, Saturday Sati is bad, it's OK. The statement sounds good only, you know, like, I mean, I'm saying valid yeah. because we have the bad Sade Sati, we have the good Sade Sati, like good cholesterol and bad cholesterol. That's a great uh, way to say that, Guruji, because I was going to, uh, one of the questions we had on our mind was that some people actually get married or have kids also during Sade Sati or they may make like big decisions. So I was curious, like, is that, will that have problems later on or or it, it's okay, it's normal? Um, when, when it comes to... Start. Yeah, I understood what you're saying. It's not as easy. We don't have a single uh, one formula to get the answers for your question, right? It's it's very, it's actually, let's admit it's complex. Mm. Because first of all, even to say that in future, this person is going to have trouble with children, the permission should have been granted in the, you know, the Prarabdha Karma. Ah. First of all, their uh, fifth lord must have been in 6, 8 or 12, afflicted by maybe Rahu Ketu or uh, on an eclipse falling on that axis. So many reasons for why you initially have the Putra Dosha. Mm. When you have the Putra Dosha, a bad transit of Saturn can really mean a lot. Mm. It can reveal a lot. So it is like, I am strong in this subject. So... Uh, I don't care about the exam. Okay. Mm. I am okay. I, I attend the exam many times. I pass. Mm. But wherever I am having a weakness, only the problem is. Mm. So first of all, before reading, not only this transit, Sade Sati or even, uh, even Jupiter transit, people blow it out of proportion saying, you know, Jupiter has come to uh, the houses of, you know, you know, the second house, the fifth and seventh, that rule. And then you say, yeah, this is the time to get married. What mm. if the horoscope shows no marriage at all in the first place? Correct. Mm. Then what do you do? So first we will have to understand what is possible and what is not possible. And then, um, yeah, it, it, you, you can say, oh, uh, the, the, the conception itself is happening in Sade Sati. But instead of scaring the person, we should actually say, see, it's, it's happening during this tough time. Why don't you do some remedies connected to this issue? Maybe... You can uh, go to the orphanage, right? You can go to the orphanage and do a lot of things. Maybe you can uh, study your dasha and antar dasha and see how it is. You get some further clues in Saptamsa, for example, in in uh, in a D7 chart. 
you have maybe the fifth lot is the 12th house or there's an exchange between 5 and 12. You find all this and then tell, wait, uh, can you go to the doctors every month? Mm -hmm. Actually, astrology could be used positively instead of saying something's going to happen. I always compared all this to, for example, like saying there's a speed breaker on the road. Mm -hmm. And uh, if I'm warned, it's a, it's a great advantage, right? Mm. But anyway, whether I get the warning or not about the speed breaker, I am going to get slowed down on the road. Mm. This is going to happen. Correct. But just imagine, um, I know of a young boy here in Chennai, the night he was driving somewhere on the TTK road, there was a speed breaker and he died on the spot. Just imagine a speed breaker killing somebody. Okay, so I heard from uh, the parents later on, <laughs> you know, she was screaming at the government for not putting up a board there. So astrology is just like you, you put up the boards there, you know, right? Wait, wait, you are going through a Sade Sati. Now what do you do? You don't take life carelessly. You know, if you are drinking regularly, then you'll, I'll, I'll always tell them stop drinking because Saturn hates alcohol. Okay. Mm -hmm. Saturn is only about hard work. So he does not like any shortcuts. So if you copy in Sade Sati, most probably the, uh, I mean, the supervisor, who we call the invigilator, is going to spot you and, you know, you'll be terminated, actually. And people who, uh, you know, drink and drive, they'll get into a brawl with the police and finally end up in the jail. Mm. So, because they'll be confused, you know, they won't know what they're talking, what they're doing, because they're already drunk. Correct. So to be, to go through Sade Sati, the first thing would be what normally people do when they go to Shabarimala in South India. Mm. That's it. No more alcohol, no enjoyments, sleep on the mat, all strict things. Discipline. See, regularly we'll, we'll see um, Sade, Sade Sati started and the office designated the night shift for the person. That's all. Yeah. From here on, no sleep. No sleep yeah. in the night because Saturn is always connected to sleeplessness, yeah. insomnia. Mm -hmm. Saturn is connected to that. So, depending upon what is the actual weakness in the horoscope, it will pick up that. Wow. So, it's, it's not so easy to um, figure out uh, in what area it is going to be because we have a whole lot and uh, a bunch of instructions given by Maharshi Parashara in mm -hmm. the Ashtavarga chapter. And mm -hmm. because it is so complex, again, I'll use the 80-20 formula. Believe it or not, 80% of astrologers will never use it. It's very complex. Mm. Even even more, uh, uh, you know, informa information providing than even Sade Sati. Mm. We have a whole set of information. I mean, uh, a methodology given in the towards the concluding part of Ashtagarga chapters. Mm. It runs to several pages, and if you don't have a software, I I don't think any astrologer is going to do it mm. because you'll have to get the Graha Pinda, then you have to get the Rashi Pinda, and then uh, you know. Uh, you, you have to multiply them and then you get the Shodhya Pinda. Now we get a three-digit number. Mm. And that three-digit number, believe it or not, has to be used on the Saturn transit to get exact predictions. Oh, wow. And the Maharshi says using this, you will get exact transit predictions because um, when you look at BPHS book, mm. you, you you don't even find Sade Sati being mentioned. Mm -hmm. It's not mentioned. Yeah, he was yeah. talking about if Jupiter comes to these points, it's going to give you auspicious results. And mm. whenever Saturn comes to these places, it always gives inauspicious results. That's it. Mm. But what in India they'll do? Because they expect an astrologer to be a psychologist also, to be a motivator. The astrologer will say, you know, you're a Thula Lagna person. Saturn is your yoga karaka. So nothing, you know, <laughs> nothing's going to happen in Saturday Sati. Your teacher is your friend. So nothing's going to happen in the exam. No, it will still be the same only. If you don't study, you will fail. Even if your teacher is, because in the exam time, the teacher is not going to even answer one single question that you are, if, even if you ask the invigilator, can you give me the answer for this question? Yeah. And you say, oh, that's your duty, right? You, as a teacher, you should tell me the answer. Yeah. In so, fact, if so, there is a good teacher, it will definitely not help. The yeah, and, and she will prevent you from, you know, the, she or he or she will prevent you from copying. copying so yeah. that is why we are saying that Saturn represents justice because if this teacher helps this uh, weak student, 
and there won't be any difference for the students who work very hard hmm see i'll give you a proof hmm in this season in when when uh, when sade sati was happening over uh, you know when saturn was going over capricorn mm -hmm. more than two dozen people i met shravana nakshatra they are all in jail oh and not not in this cycle even in the previous cycle and i really don't i mean i have not understood why uh, imprisonment is so strongly connected to shravana i don't know why maybe it is because Shra i was i was thinking that shravana is a moon star and then the moon saturn nexus is you know established there mm. because it is a saturn sign and it is by default already a sade sati mm. right it's like yeah. a permanent sade sati and then when saturn comes over there you know some of them falsely what do you call that framed Wow. and find the friend themselves you know i don't know what happened something you know like this and then i get arrested so these complaints for certain nakshatras were more often than for the other nakshatras certain types of experiences for example uh, rohini nakshatra people uh, in in that uh, in the previous uh, you know the cycle when saturn was going over rishabha hmm hmm seven of my clients got infected with tuberculosis oh believe it or not rohini nakshatram is connected to that disease called tb wow so, what is connection guruji with tb it is it is saturn going over rohini nakshatra mm -hmm. okay. that is for for rohini because that, that's also moon moon nakshatra but then the sign is venus right it right. belongs to Rish so uh, rishabh and veena venus so so if we have a very strong you know we take a good stance mm. and we want to you know uh uh do some uh, all of us join together and collect details and 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 do it you might be noticing a pattern for whatever nakshatra also like ashwini people are mostly going through this kind of trouble or barni nakshatram is going through this so i notice only some patterns uh, maybe maybe it has to be you know something like artificial intelligence you know should have been uh, used for a very large database of transits and effects you got to collect details like that it, yeah that's that's also possible there's a lot of scope for study here yeah, about sadesa yeah actually guru ji one of the questions was kind of related to this data only that a uh, lot of times there's a loss right in the family like people lose their loved ones or uh, yeah parents, during sadesa right exactly uh, the 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 occurrence at least i saw uh, mothers uh, you know problem like uh, the 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 mother passing away was more than the father passing away oh because i mean you have to use common sense here right uh, it also has to be you have to ask what is the age of your mother mm. so you you should know you should use common sense combined with astrology you mm. can't say when uh, your, uh, your mother is younger uh, you you can't guess like this right right mm -hmm. but sometimes i noticed uh, when saturn goes over uh, the sun the father's uh, death happens more often mm. over moon it is mother mm. but then if you if you really want to do justice to this uh, this question that you were asked you should only use that uh, shodhya pinda calculations where uh, the marshi has said remember uh, in uh, bbhs uh, book he says and uh, santanam has given an example right he says take the sun in your horoscope and uh, count the ninth from there because uh, sun is the father karaka karaka mm -hmm. and ninth house you, you you go there and and in sun sashtaka varga we call it bhinna uh, sashtaka varga bav chart mm -hmm. you see some score it it can only be from 0 to 8 some score mm -hmm. that score you multiply uh, you know with, with uh, the shodhya pinda which is a three digit number you get another three digit number mm. and divide it by nakshatra mm mm 27 nakshatras divide it by 27 nakshatras mm. you eliminate the quotient and take the remainder mm. and the remainder is the star number over which when saturn goes it will be the death of the father hmm. Hmm. it came as a shock when i read this rule first time i used it on my chart 
and it was exactly when saturn went over that nakshatra my father passed away mm. and surprise again not surprise we shouldn't be surprised because we are we are talking about mahashi parashara my mm. mother also passed away exactly as per that so this is the actually the scary part of uh, astrology mm. i always uh, prefer uh, that people stay away from these these types of calculations yeah but maybe use uh, the shodhya pinda for positive things like uh, i want to know jupiter going over which sign uh, i want to know when the child is going to be born because we have been waiting for maybe 4 years or something and then we have you know you use the same logic jupiter go to the fifth house take that number multiply again use it so universal thing is reward happiness auspiciousness always comes from jupiter all the punishment the suffering and all this high stress always comes from saturn Saka. let's not dilute astrology by saying no no you know in my horoscope saturn is such a nice thing or people will say you know i'm doing hanuman chalisa all the time mm. but if if you do hanuman chalisa what happens is whatever was the uh, you know whatever was supposed to happen according to prarabdha karma mm. that will actually uh, become less you know mm. the intensity will uh, be comes be brought down considerably and that is enough for us right Mm. it's like going to a private tuition and some are getting at least some maybe 20 marks extra Correct. than what you might have so it, it makes a very lot. big yeah. difference yeah. it yeah. makes a very big difference so um the simplest way would be if you want to know is your sadhi sati going to uh you know uh, how is it going to affect you? you you really have to sit down with your horoscope and do a lot of you know it's not so easy go to a professional astrologer yeah, yeah you'll have to reach out to a good uh, a professional astrologer and there are many of them who know all these things only only thing is that we'll have to find out where they are and and go and meet them and talk to them and, and you know get as many clues as possible and then um, where can you use it like i know of a man who was getting into shani dasa rahu bhukti already it is uh, a very notorious period mm. and above that is sade sati was starting and then from job he wants to get into business i said no it's a trap <laughs> he said uh, sir you have no no idea about what i am capable of okay i'll be the richest man very soon i said no it's a trap a later two three years later he filed for bankruptcy i know that yeah so Wrong. we could have now you can say no it was there in his fate and that's why very difficult to answer this question because you can always argue on that side also no it was his fate that even though he was warned he could not listen mm. but we can't uh, take that excuse because if that was true the marshi would not have given us remedies he would say anyway it will it will happen or not happen right yeah. so why would he even suggest remedies mm. like for example in uh, when uh, in saturn's period like a uh, planetary period when saturn is the lord of the second house especially Mm. and uh, he hints at uh, the possibility of the danger to the you know life mm. he he gives us some remedies immediately that means it is alterable mm. Mm. but they want to you know defend themselves by saying no i can't do anything because they are not willing to put in that kind of effort mm. they can't sit down and do mahamrityunjaya uh, maybe they have to do mahamrityunjaya homa and so on in sate sati there are a lot of things uh, which uh, a person can do to ensure that at least it is bearable yeah yeah one thing i always notice maybe you go to a doctor only when you, you get a hint that something is happening like you know the symptoms symptoms it's okay saying, yeah it's okay when people get some hints and they get inquisitive they want to go to an astrologer it is i recommend that that they go to an astrologer and take get some extra clues about life mm. rather than take it uh, you know because if you use common sense there is no way you can use Uh, common sense to figure out what's going to happen in life because life if you say it's a drama <laughs> it's a drama without rehearsals mm good point so we can't even compare it to drama because in drama you have how many rehearsals you have correct right yeah. uh, the bigger the drama the more rehearsals you have yeah trial and error and editing and this and that but we don't have that in life so you correct. can't really take a chance it's you can't, yeah, you can't even post edit yeah it's like live yeah. right now already over and then people will say i wish i could uh, go back in time i wish i had a time machine i could have done that 
I go back there and and stay in job instead of coming back, you know, trying out this business. So usually, uh, I was always thinking like this: that uh, Moon is the one who's getting afflicted by Saturn, and Moon is um, mind. the mind, and Saturn represents the darkness, or maybe more prarabdha karma than any other graha, mm -hmm. right? And since our past is always bad, that's why we took birth, right? So we are all taking, you know, we are reborn only because we are trying to settle the scores. So we are all basically sinners. That's why we have come to this life and we are attempting to get rid of the sin. And while we are attempting to get rid of the sin and that was the purpose of life, we add more sins unknowingly. Right. Right. Correct. So Saturn, uh, for example, maybe if you look at the picturization of Saturn, Saturn is lame. He, is, he limbs on his left leg. Mm. And that's a clue. You do a research and see, whenever fracture happens on in uh, Sade Sati or Ashtamasani, again the same 80-20 formula, 80% 80 of the time it will only be left side. Left side. It will be left hand and left leg. But people say hand is not uh, Saturn. No. Mm. The limbs are all Saturn. Mm. Okay. Mm. The limbs are Saturn, mm. but more uh, more Saturn is the is the leg and the ankle and the feet. The feet is the perfect one because I know this uh, when um, um, a boy, I mean, uh, young boy, young man, uh, his mother came for consultation. I said, uh, let him not go to the gym uh, on eight seventeen and twenty sixth. Mm. Mm. Because you're so motivated to, you know, become strong. And the, because usually when you try to become strong, you're trying to boost up your e ego, actually. Mm. Correct, correct. Because you want to get stronger than the other. You know who I am. You know, like that you want to say. And on uh, Saturday, which is also a Saturn Nakshatra, somebody from the adjacent, uh, you know, I don't know from where it happened, a very large uh, uh, dumbbell, which is very heavy, Landed straight on his toe. Uh, mm, mm -hmm. And uh, the toe, uh, that is left side toe, is completely Saturn. That's why when you get uric acid problem, uh, what do you call that, gout, always mm. it will hit that point first. Mm. You'll notice that uh, you can't keep that toe down on the floor. It will it'll be very painful. Painful, yeah. Then ankle. So I know of a man who had, uh, I mean, this is hard to believe. Uh, when he said also, I didn't believe. I said, uh, did you really keep count of it? 12 fractures in the ankle in one Sade Sati. My God. Oh. And I, I was very inquisitive. I wanted to know why. And how did you manage to do this? He said, I love skiing. As soon as I get healed, the next thing I'll do is get back. And because skiing is connected to the colder place and colder is connected to Saturn mm -hmm. and ice is Saturn, freezing is Saturn and all that. So it, it has matched so well. Wow. And uh, in skiing, what are you doing? Where you're getting stuck in ice and snow, you can't move because that is, uh, that tallies with Saturn because Saturn, uh, you know, gets you stuck. Yeah. Oh, I got an, I got an instrument right. where I, I will go at high speed on ice. Right, right. So Saturn says, wait, wait, where are you going? I'll slow you down. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. Then you'll be slowed down in the hospital with that all that uh, you know bandage and everything. The leg will be suspended and you can't move at all. Because Saturn is about uh, not able to move. In so in, 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 in Tamil Nadu, they'll say, no, the, the elder son, he came, sir, really tight. So he tightens uh -huh. like a python. Uh -huh. you know, he coils and squeezes like this. The squeeze mm -hmm. effect is always Saturn. Mm -hmm. The nose is Saturn. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The handcuffs are Saturn because if you if you just stare at a you know look at have a good look at a handcuff, you will see an eight. Yes. Because they'll you know it'll, it'll kind of resemble an eight. Yeah. And you see in the movies also the hero will say just release this handcuff and then you will see who I am. Yeah. Uh, uh. But uh, as soon as you put on the handcuff, the the hero will become like a child. Correct. So when Sade Sati comes, we will all become like a, helpless as a child. Right. Right. This is when you need Mahavishnu and uh, uh, you know Hanuman for all the Hindus and for all other people in the you know the world. They will have to do a lot of these Saturn remedies. Mm -hmm. 
like in Islam, you have this compulsory is donations, uh, zakat. So increase your donations mm -hmm. and increase love and, uh, you know, all those social service activities uh, as per Christianity. Right. You, you can find out what, what Saturn is doing and from that you can figure it out. For example, Saturn, I mean, the picturization, Saturn is old. So you got to take care of older people. Mm -hmm. So... When you get old, we all fall sick. So everything about Saturn is about, uh, you know, some common uh, common things like uh, old age, not able to move, um, no sleep, uh, so stressful, you know, uh, the question about life, because it's called Aish Karaka. Mm. Right? In, a, in the Rashavarga chapter, he says, you want to find when you will you'll fall sick? So he says, touch Saturn, go to the eight hours and do the same thing that I told you in the beginning. Mm. But what if that coincides with Sade Sati? Mm. That is the problem. So yeah. you never know that the Sade Sati could be very general approach. Mm. But even then you could use this um, Ashtakavarga. Mm. But even then it is still general only according to me. Mm. Mostly it will give you those results. Correct. But what if it is also by the formula of Shodhya Pinda... Mm. is indicating something in that zone where it goes over how many stars? Uh, two, uh, three signs, right? So yeah. three signs will have at least nine stars. Nine stars, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you'll have nine stars. So some formula will be there, you know, wherever it tallies with some something. And those are the areas that could be affected by the Sade Sati if you want specific results. Mm. But you're not interested in any specific results. You don't want really know what what is this bacteria what is that which is causing? You simply take a general antibiotic and get rid of it. You take a paracetamol, you take a you know a, a general antibiotic, and hopefully you should be able to solve it. So you have always uh, you know be kind to physically challenge people. Uh, don't show off. You know some mm -hmm. some some simple ideas like that. Right. Uh, don't tell people. Do you know who I am? You know, it's a very yeah, common yeah, state. Like arrogance. Like yeah. So we always say. Oh, no. mm. Yeah. Pride, pride goes before a fall. So the, the, the akshara pra and fra seems to be dominating in Sade Sati. The, mm -hmm. the, the PR, for example, present, P-R-I-S-O-N. So we have a mantra for that Om Pram Prim uh, Pram Shanishraya Nama, that one, because it is connected to that pra sound and the fra sound. Mm -hmm. Right, right. So uh, I quoted an example of some, uh, you know, something like, uh, you know, somebody called Prakash comes into your life and then does something. I yeah. mean, that's because I know this name. Mm. But an American is telling me that uh, the new CEO came to the office. His name is Frank. And as soon as he came, the first thing he did was kick me out of the office. Mm. Mm. As though he had got nothing else to do. <laughs> right. Yeah. So he said, how, how is this working? So. Rest of the world, you have the fra sound occurring so often than the pra in India. Like you can compare it like that. Sure. But uh, for all practical purpose, uh, Saturn works uh, regardless of your religious background, re uh, regardless of your belief systems or anything. Mm. Uh, it still works. Universal. The same way. And, and therefore, we should all come up with universal remedies more than just Hanuman Chalisa or Vishnu Sasana. Because if you look at uh, the Hanuman. Uh, you know, uh, that concept, it is about serving God, right? So Hanuman is always about that. Right? So uh, he, he Ram as the highest, he is um, he's a celibate and, you know, like uh, you know, those kind of things. So it will tally with that Shabarimala thing. So right. if you go to Shabarimala, you, they ask you to wear blue and, uh, you know, a black dress. Right. Uh, you, you sport a beard. Uh, so if you look at a young boy who is not who's not been sporting a beard for a long time. I mean, you haven't seen him in the recent times. And then suddenly he starts having that big, uh, you know, the large, uh, all over the face, the beard. Yeah. Just don't, don't even hesitate. Just say, is your moon in these places, which will tell you Sade Sati of the current time? Right. They'll say, yes, how do you know? It'll always be uh, perfect. <laughs> wow, so the, then uh, they'll start picking up all the black dress from the stores. And they won't take any other color. Mm. They'll start loving black. And if I buy a vehicle, it will be a black vehicle. Car, black. Bike, black. And all these incidents will only, all the challenges will come up only on 8, 17 and 26. 26, yeah. So we have two different kind of results. One, 
uh, how's the overall horoscope let's say you you notice lot of uh, maybe jupiter is so well placed you have uh, an inbuilt uh, guiding system that you are aligned with the god and uh, guru energies you will bow down to teachers uh, both in school and college and everywhere uh, okay you tell me i listen those kind of things mm. but in horoscopes uh, if you see rahu is so active rahu is a rebel so you won't follow the rules yeah. uh, i know of a man um, with a rahu saturn exchange uh, on tula lagna where saturn got into debilitation Mm. but rahu is in the fifth he mm. got addicted to alcohol oh mm. and i did something like this it uh, you know it's doing something okay i'm sorry about that if i show some so I think guess the camera green. yeah changes yeah no alcohol so, <laughs> yeah no alcohol okay so um there was a person uh, who came along for an event and uh, he he said uh, i'm going to have beer i said no don't please ha- don't have it today because you're going through saturday sati and today is a saturday mm, mm. and uh, <laughs> you you will get into trouble with the police on the way he said no sir nothing will happen <laughs> and 5 minutes i'm getting the call sir do you know any top police officer can get me out of trouble <laughs> and he paid 10000 rupees they took away his car you know like that yeah so like a punishment form yeah it's like a punishment immediately like who's asking you to relax with alcohol you know in sadhi sati mm-hmm. like that mm-hmm. so um increase your charity your social service look at people who are suffering this is your chance to help them out right yeah right. so we can do that and uh, you know decrease we're asking for specific uh, how do you find at least for the lay person i'll tell you ashtadurga bin that is binashwarga of saturn 0 mm. and 1 mm. they i always feel that they hurt the most 0 mm. and 1 yeah yeah because saturn will anyway never get 8 because saturn only gets 7 maximum in the ashtadurga that's how the ashtadurga score is so let's say somewhere 3 is also somewhat okay instead of 4 for mm-hmm. the other grahas but 0 1 is something very specific and 0 is really bad right and i think saturn that is zero points right total yeah and then if you and keep an eye on the sarvashwarga and even there that is perhaps the lowest score in the entire uh, entire 12 houses then most probably that will be and you have to not scare the person you have to say wait uh, first reduce the speed of the car because it's not like how it was before right you know right. something very bad can happen so uh, don't uh, don't be impatient because saturn uh certain works through certain methods he works with the tongue right because you utter something and get into trouble mm. this is one of the standard things about saturn that's why in in uh, the eightfold path of the buddha who gave us the eightfold path which is again you know uh, saturn's number mm. uh he he later on said to some of his uh, closest disciples that the right speech is the most important one Mm, mm. because and and that's also a clue for us that with the same tongue we should use the mantras and when you do the mantras you become conscious of sade sati oh it's not it's not my time right see right. who would paint a house in when the storm is going on nobody yeah, would do that oh that's a great you not, yeah you won't do that i oh, know i uh, you know i'm very capable i want to paint now only no you know wait for the good season or uh, right season don't do it now right so wherever possible i'm telling uh, you know let me uh, you know say if it is possible don't add on the risk in your life in sade sati at least correct correct like don't but if you never had a child so far yeah if you never had a child so far and you can't wait any and then it so happens that you you are uh, uh you, 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 your wife has conceived uh, in in uh, let's say her sade sati don't scare her instead just ask her to do lot of this for example feeding the crow every day morning mm-hmm. feeding a black cow after dinner mm. crow before breakfast and black dog after dinner i mean then people say what about the other dogs you can feed anything for that matter yeah. it's just that you know we we have borrowed ideas from marshi parashara because he said donate a black cow Oh. when uh, mars uh, when saturn is the marka graha so mm-hmm. we, 
we know that there are no green cows right so uh, obviously when buddha period is there he doesn't say donate a green cow <laughs> so we are just using common sense here because we know black has to be given away right. or to the black we have to give right so uh, you know this hair black you tonsure it uh, in uh, tirupati most of the people do it on saturday Mm. because they know this and also we are all very proud about our hair we keep you know adjusting it we look into the mirror and so on so it's loss of ego also mm correct certain likes a lot yeah i think the, so when the buddha, thing is about loss of ego yeah mm-hmm. yeah so when buddha shaves off you know uh, that, that's the first step he you know the first thing he does uh, to when he hands over all the gold to the uh, charioteer who mm. who takes him to the forest edge of the for the city and the forest uh, area um he, the first thing he does with his sword he takes off the entire hair hmm now that's the beginning of i have no i'm now losing my that super ego thing so in a different way uh, saturn seems to be attacking the hair hmm so for some people uh, yeah go ahead please yeah for some people they get cancer and when they go through chemotherapy all the hair uh, falls off yeah 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 okay so that will be a uh, ultimate problem and certain rules all the chronic diseases the the the, the ones that uh, are very difficult not easy terminal illness uh, not even terminal it could be i'm not talking about terminal definitely certain rules the terminal but he rules the long term things that will never go it will stay ah. but you let it managing it Mm. these are all coming from past life these are all from you know the the typical prarabdha karma mm. Mm. so one question guruji that saturn likes hard work and he is the representation for our karma or our karm or action but in sade sathi some people actually lose their job or they choose to go jobless they quit their job or they take a sabbatical so is that a trick you know where saturn is just testing you and you've gone jobless you've actually done the wrong thing or is it just to add stress like how sometimes like uh, or sometimes we've seen people who get like night shifts or have to work extra hard so how do you differentiate like what is the message there in those two different scenarios totally opposite i met a uh... a young man who uh, at the time he came to me uh, he was already jobless for two and a half years mm-hmm. okay so um he lost his job and saturn was in uh, uh, leo uh, that is simha rashi he is a kanya rashi person mm-hmm. so it's it it seems that he told me that uh, before saturn entered leo he had uh, been to an astrologer mm-hmm. and some astrologers are you know uh, uh, i mean they're not uh, maybe they, they don't know how to you know spell out these results so he used some very uh, kind of uh, unfriendly words and said it's all over for you from from now on mm. uh, in tamil he said something which i i, I don't want to say now okay mm. uh, you will not something equivalent of that i mean uh, if you want to translate that it would be um you will never you will never prosper at all from now on something like that mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and so what happened i mean that's a statement for sade sathi generally uh, he, he might be have you know the astrologer was used to making statements like this but mm-hmm. this guy took it up so seriously right he was affected by that statement mm-hmm. and due to the real result of sade sathi he lost his job mm-hmm. you understand he lost his job uh when the office took some stands and he was removed but the office guys don't know he's going through sade sati right so right. that was a real effect of sade sati mm. mm. but what happened was he mistook the entire thing as oh the astrologer told that i will not prosper from now on for seven and a half years so i lost a job so astrology works and so whatever the astrologer told is also correct mm. therefore he decided not to apply for another job oh so he was jobless for two and a half years when he came to me so i said forget astrology you tell me why you are jobless because we all need 
people to do jobs. We are always looking for this guy, that guy. I am looking for a driver. My, my, uh, you know, my, this person is looking for that person. You know, somebody please come and work. It is a joke to say there is no employment. It's actually a joke. Or you're so choosy about, you know, uh, no, I won't do that, that kind of work. And Saturn says you should do the odd jobs in mm. his period. Mm. This is not the regular thing because you're supposed to go through the suffering for the past life, something mm. where you might have used some shortcuts to in your livelihood. So mm. it, that's why the job goes in the first place. Mm. And uh, to get a job uh, and to get income in the past lives, we have used a lot of things. Like one of them is usually, uh, I saw in a movie where uh, the, the the guy in front is go supposed to go to the interview and he knows that if he goes, attends the interview, he'll be the one who selected. And then he sets it up in such a way that a phone call comes and then they say your mother is being taken to them, you know, in the ambulance. So the guy simply runs off from there. But it's actually a setup call. Oh my God. And he goes in and gets the job. He gets the job. So we might have got jobs like this. So when Sat Sade Sati comes in the next life, it will take the job away. Job away, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So like that it will happen. And so this person, he told me, sir, Astrologer told, sir, nothing is going to work. Therefore, I never applied. Then I said, okay, then what were you doing? Then I, I, I added my own lines. I said, you must have been, you know, lying down in the sofa and watching one movie after the other, right? You are on a holiday for, for so many days, two and a half. Is holiday a good thing or a bad thing? Normally. Holiday is enjoyable, right? That means you are in the best of times. Two and a half years of holiday, you are in the best of times. So you have actually disproved Sade Sati because Sade Sati is supposed to keep you tense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you enjoyed life. Not only the uh, TV movies, you went for movies also. Mm -hmm. And how did you do that? You borrowed money from others. And to settle that lender, you borrowed again. So I filled up the rest of the story. It's easy. And he has come for consultation to know whether he has to run away from Chennai because he's been chased by all the money lenders. He knows he'll be in trouble. I mean, that is the real effect of Sade Sati. But it was, it was kind of helped by him because he chose not to work. Mm. So I tell people who are in Sade Sati, okay, you lose your job, fine. That's because of Sade Sati. Mm. And maybe Dasha and Dasha cooperated with that. You lost your job. Mm. Now, apply for a job. Don't put your conditions there. I will only look at this. If this is not the salary, I will not join. Because this is not your time. Beggars mm. cannot be choosers. It's mm. not your time. You have to accept whatever comes. Mm. So, because I am putting money into the beggars uh, that uh, played. Mm. It's, it's my choice. I can do what I want. Yeah. He can't say, what is this? You're given only this much. Some people do, you know, return it back also. In India, that has started. If you put less money, the the the, the beggar will always return <laughs> it back and say, right. you keep this money. I don't need this. They'll insult. Yeah. So, I told him, get a job. It will not be according to what you want. It will be a night shift. You will be in deep trouble. Mm. You will be very stressed out. But that's how life goes. Mm. Oh, I didn't know about this. Then he said, okay. And then after a month, he called me and said, thank you so much for opening my eyes. I, he's in a job now, but as, as we expected, it is not a great job. Then I told him, wait, don't forget about the other recommendation. Can you find some two hour extra somewhere? Mm. Three hour extra somewhere. Can you do that? Mm. So what is this, sir? You're making me suffer. I said, anyway, it will make you suffer. It's like the speedometer will anyway slow you down on the road. Mm. You cannot... Go against that rule because if you go fast and go over the speed breaker, your car will go 16 feet up in the air and you'll be in the hospital for six months, which is another kind of slowdown. Yeah. The other slowdown is I, I press the brakes Voluntary. and then go slowly over it. So the, the purpose is to slow you down. That's all. Mm. So don't say that Sade Sati is bad. Sade Sati just says, wait, wait, wait. Stop. Think. What have you done in your past life? You know, you do right. something now. Work harder. Can you think about other people? Can you, you know, find jobs for others? 
see this this person whom i i spoke about had other problems also in the chart mm -hmm. but it somehow seems to be telling with the exam because until the exams have arrived we are all equal the bright student the failed student you know the the, the students going to fail they'll all be together as friends mm. you won't notice any difference right, right. you'll know, you'll have to say let the exam comes then we'll soon know who's who who's who yeah <laughs> so that is how sade sati works mm. okay so let's not say like this you know your life is over and so on we are not supposed to say that we are supposed to say how are we going to fight and faith is an f word right so i tell people use faith as the weapon mm. for example if you believe that hanuman is there he will save me it will save me mm. if you dare vishnu if you are quoting jesus christ words and say something he has said this then it will save you Mm -hmm. everything will save you something you're quoting from quran and say this will save me this is what has been mentioned and you believe in it you got to believe in it correct correct then it will, it, will, it will save you then whatever is there uh, what to do the, the 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 storm will come and go but at least you will not be affected in the storm it will limit you to a good extent correct. life changes right because of the storm but not I everybody is affected in the same uh, storm same intensity you know the same way right yeah. it, it's not It, there's a lot of variations in that it depends on what as i always say what you did with what you got mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what you did with what you got and for that you need a little bit of knowledge about astrology and vedic astrology especially because only in vedic astrology we have a lot of this kind of philosophies attached mm -hmm. otherwise astrology is only a predictive science it's not a predictive science maybe it is a predictive science mm -hmm. uh it's not just a predictive science it is a it is a science it is a predictions we should look at corrections how can i correct myself yeah exactly that yeah, is that's all. part is the most interesting and most amazing part i think yeah yeah whenever you whenever you talk about uh, sade sati mm. please have a look at how jupiter is if jupiter is well placed at the same time in transit during that one year which is jupiter year the mm. jupiter year you have a window of some kind of grace Mm. a silver lining and you should capitalize on that one period mm. right now why makarashi people are in great trouble is because even before this jupiter transit mm. jupiter was in the third which is extremely challenging mm. Mm. in a sade sati when jupiter goes over third it becomes very bad mm. and then the next transit is also equally bad but uh, not equally bad but still bad fourth mm. transit Mm -hmm. So now, after fourth house, it comes to fifth house. Oh, even though Saturday Saturday is still going on, then uh, Jupiter is somewhat, you know, trying to bless me. Mm -hmm. So during this one year, some... whatever, rem yeah, whatever mm -hmm. remedies you do will be more effective during such times. That doesn't mean that you should stop putting in your efforts even in other times. Mm -hmm. Effort is actually supreme. because it is we who created karma and only we with our efforts can overcome karma overcome how it. can you say what can i do jupiter is in the fourth jupiter you know saturn is in the first house in from moon my dasha is bad my antar dasha is bad so let me just sit down and suffer no mm. that's not the way mm. i will i will seek the grace of god i will go to the church the mosque and uh, to the temples and wherever the place of worship is i will do a lot of social service i'll take care of the suffering in this world and you should you should always find a lot of you know sudden miracles in your life mm -hmm. so guru ji uh, for people in addition to donations like if they want to do donations they want to do seva they want to do community work and in addition to that they want to do the japa or or mantras or prayers like you are suggesting is there any rule or anything that we need to understand when should we pray to feminine you know divine energy when should we pray you know pray to masculine or it doesn't matter like when should you pray to lord shiva or hanuman or when should you pray to goddess durga like is there a simple simple way for people to uh, spot that if you, or if if you are uh, talking with regard to the the type you know the forms of gods uh, and we have uh, several of them at least i think uh, 
close to 30 to 40 types of gods in uh, Hindu. It's not actually 33 million gods or something. Mm. Uh, that's not real. Mm. It's only about major gods are only lesser than that. It is less than even, I think, 40. Okay. Mm. It's like 33. So uh, on top of, yeah, on top of that, we have Lord Shiva standing out, uh, Vishnu, uh, Subramaniam, Ganesha, like that. We have some top, uh, like Dur Goddess Durga, Mahalakshmi, and that's all. That's all there is. So what you have to do is, uh, which side, uh, the feminine or the masculine uh, energies you got to uh, you know connect to is decided only by your ascendant. Okay. And the trick is like this. Suppose you are a Sagittarius ascendant, you know Venus is the number one enemy. Functional yeah. yeah, the Mahashi says, right, Eka Eva, only one is the worst one for this, Venus. And people always think Venus is such a nice graha, but for a Sagittarius, it, it's actually the other way around. Hmm. So you will only, once you know Venus is against the person, you'll have to only recommend the feminine worship more than the uh, the, the male side, hmm. the male gods, you know, the male god energy. So, and, and whenever it is Jupiter and Sun, you'll have to relate it to uh, Lord Shiva. Hmm. Hmm. Whereas uh, for the rest, it is usually Vishnu. Oh, cool. And it is for Sade Sati, it's always Vishnu first, actually. Okay. It's always Vishnu because we know this from stories, from mythology. Mm. Like Vishnu was always trying to, whereas Lord Shiva himself was once questioned by uh, Lord Shani, right? We have that story. Mm -hmm. right. uh, there are some two, three variations of the story where uh, he he goes and you know hides in a in the in the in the stalk of a lotus, mm. and then when he comes out, uh, Shani says, "It is I who kept you there for seven and a half years." Yes, yes. Like, I mean, whatever uh, you know, we we have used stories to reveal something. So mm. maybe it is Vishnu more than Shiva for Sade Sati. Mm. Okay. Okay. From from those stories, you can know. So, for example, if you are a um, Meshalagna, then it'll always be the the main gods will be uh, Mahalakshmi and Durga, mm. and then Vishnu mm. for Meshalagna. Right. So right. once you know at least the fundamental things, you can you can tweak it a little bit to get the other gods also. Mm. But let's say you're a Kanya Lagna, then Subramaniam, Kartikeya, or what is called, uh, who is also known as Muruga in South India, right. that god will become the supreme god for you, mm. for anything. So in Sade Sati, you will have to go to this, uh, you know, there are two big places for this god, which is Tirichandur and Swami Malai. That's where you go. Mm. So like that, you can uh, tweak it a little bit here and there. Depending mm -hmm. upon what kind of experience you're going through and what dasha you're going through in, in the same sade sati, you mm -hmm. can you can do some adjustments. But the male female uh, definitely we have to be uh, you know aware of. Right. So that is based on functional malefics. Malefics. Got it. So yeah. like uh, uh, so Vishnu Sahasranam or Vishnu prayer is number one, and then based on ascendant, always keeping in mind masculine. Yeah. Exactly. Or like you were saying, like let's say if somebody is going through a lot of litigation problems during Sade Sati or enemy problem, then Lord Murugan also. Yeah, yeah. That. You can, you can uh, one, see, first of all, simply by Dasha and Antar Dasha also, you can give uh, remedies by just copying what is there in BPHS book and, and taking clues from there. Sade yeah. Sati, you can run separately because I think it's more on the mind actually, more than anything else. So for the mind related things, I have seen Personally and uh, from my own, uh, you know, close friends and relatives, Hanuman Chalisa is actually working very well. Mm -hmm. But Vishnu Sasram is slightly longer and takes a lot of patience. So uh, maybe for people who are into Vishnu Sasram, it's uh, even, I mean, I think it is getting even more easier for them to handle uh, the effects of sa Sade Sati. Mm -hmm. I also found another way uh, to understand what's really going to happen. If during Sade Sati, the person loses faith in God, that's the worst thing that can happen. Mm. Because it's at the most needed time they've given up of, you know, on their last the hope. The calendar is gone, yeah. Yeah, it's all gone. So then uh, you can go to the extent of saying, see, please don't do this. Uh, you don't know what you're heading for, you know. At mm. least now don't uh, give up. Maybe in good times you can give up on God if you want, <laughs> but not during times like this. So there are things like uh, some standard things will happen uh, in Sade Sati, knowing that you will have to reach out to your, your uh, astrologer and uh, ask why did, did it happen and if see if there is something that you can do uh, at the overall horoscope level and then adjust it to Dasha and Antar Dasha and do something. 
one of them is you know uh, when money is stolen it is definitely karmic in nature mm. very karmic it is not an ordinary event don't take it light and even the fire accident inside the house or inside your business place mm. is not to be treated as just a coincidence or a random event mm. fire f r word fire you know like we say f r comes very close so it is a saturn thing people always think it is mars mars yeah mm. it's not mars maybe mars might have fueled it but the real reason in sade sati you will notice theft and fire accidents mm. it will be like everything will be destroyed in that fire mm. one single fire one mm. single event one single theft nowadays you know theft has gone up to data a uh, computer uh, you know hacking and all kinds of things are happening right right i know of uh, you know this is maybe uh, it looks childish but even though it is such a small amount it is better to learn that Sa- sade sati works all the time correct correct lady in sade sati somebody does a scam on a saturday exactly 35000 rupees stolen and she goes to the police station and says madam it is just 35000 just leave it it is so hard to find these people that's all if it is 3 and 1/2 lakhs then it's a different issue it seems so yeah. <laughs> and so uh, i was very careful about all these details when people will say sir uh, my 80 lakh rupee is stuck with one guy and his name is uh, starting with the fnp <laughs> and uh, and you don't have to ask you can say uh, you did this mistake in the beginning of sade sati they'll say yes mm. exactly 80 for them it will be just a number they will not even notice you know like sir and then i'll ask them uh, is it is it not 75 lakhs no sir it's not 75 it's exactly 80 lakhs eight then the other guy will say eight crores is stuck so it will be so perfect certain uh, you know role the power everything will be revealed sometimes it is positive for example uh, for for our current uh, you know honorable prime minister it is very favorable mm mm that is actually favorable for him mm that's because he was born on 17th his nakshatra is 17 he joined rss at the age of 8 all of them 8 he became first time cm on 26 he becomes first time pm on 26 all the numbers for always for him is saturn connected oh wow yeah so we have for some people it is extremely favorable that's because they have done so much good things in the past where saturn wants to give them like the the education system wants to give a gold medal to the student who is writing the exam mm-hmm. you understand so so since most of us are not done well uh, that's why the complaint against sade sati <laughs> otherwise uh, if you start doing a research 20% of the people were actually rewarded in sade sati yeah and you will have enough proof in their uh, chart and why the rewards came yeah yeah okay. so guru ji uh, last two questions now and then we'll wrap it up uh, okay. one is what happens to those people who were born in sade sati so that means they'll have a saturn moon in their chart lifelong anything special for them or it's the hmm. See. let's let's not motivate a demotivate anybody with that kind of a, you know statement because mm. it is just that he is more vulnerable that he or she is more vulnerable because mm. there is a initial something and it works through a kind of um a little bit of pessimistic uh, you know views the mm. thinking itself is like that and when you are pessimistic you are actually begging for uh, failures only mm. because it, it matches up you got to tell them see forget whatever has happened in your chart go to some motivate uh, you know motivational uh, gurus uh, reach out to people who can motivate you uh, go through movies which motivates us you know they must uh, learn how to be mot- self motivated and they must reach out to people who will motivate them they can watch uh, motivational uh, you know content on youtube you know uh, 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 like somebody will say you know i came to the city uh, i was working in the you know in the in the in the toilets and uh, now i am having 500 people working for me and that's the kind of things you should you know, say no no i'll overcome there will be more suffering that's why that conjunction is usually uh, pointing towards spirituality because it is only when you are troubled to the maximum we all turn to spirituality spirituality yeah like uh, you know the parikshit maharaj story where 
you have been told, you know, this is going to happen, then he, he, he goes after the spiritual knowledge. So Ramana Maharshi has an experience of near death and then you go towards spiritual knowledge. Mm. So, so much money lost and everything is lost. So there's no point at all in this life. So I want to investigate. I met some sannyas in, when I went for the Kedarnath trip. Uh, I used to spend time talking to them mm. on why they, why they chose this path. So difficult, sir. It was horrible. I lost all my money there. Then I came here. They're just trying to find relief. Yeah, yeah. So... But one thing I noticed was that those who had a Sade Sati in the horoscope at the time of birth, whenever it came, it was always rough. It was always rough. Mm -hmm. So I, I wish uh, astrology was more, uh, you know, like it became more systematic that people knew about this and they worked on it and changed by, you know, falling on the feet of a guru. Uh, the bringing in the gurus into your life, you 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 go to you know places like uh, all the gurus talams we have, bow down to a guru, have a guru for you yourself, and always fall back on that guru, and ask for guidance. And most probably, it won't be that hard. Mm -hmm. So there are people in at least in Tamil Nadu they'll say the second time it comes it is very good, and the third time <laughs> it's all over. You know, there are some funny statements like this. Uh, it's not true. <laughs> Every time it is exam only. That's exam all. Time. Every time it's exam. But whether it is doing well or not, uh, the, it will all depend on what Dasha was when at the time it came back second time and third time. Correct. Correct. And what, by that time, yeah. how much the person yeah. was Yeah. So, uh, one good thing, to say that the second time it comes, it is good is to kind of motivate the person. Don't worry. <laughs> right. Because you can't take away that, uh, you know, zeal and enthusiasm in a person saying, oh, you know, you are in Sade Sati. So sometimes I feel astrologers who, uh, who also encourage people like this. No, don't worry. Second, it's very good. But don't <laughs> worry like that. That's also good. But there is a fault in that. Because I know of a man who, who entered and, and got into a very risky type of business uh, when the Sade Sati came back. He was told by his astrologer, it is second round and you will go to the top. Mm. Use the word, you'll go to the top. Mm. Mm. Then when the business failed, uh, he had to hide himself in a hill station. Then he joked that the astrologer actually meant that I'll hide uh, from all the people on a hill <laughs> station. That's what he meant by saying, I'll go to the top. <laughs> Yeah. Let's not tell a lie. Instead of that, we can say, no, it's not like that. But be very careful. Don't try uh, risky things now because Sade Sati is always exam. Mm -hmm. Be very careful because this person has not tried out that line before. Got That's it. a clue. You try it first time, even by common sense, you know, you can't take up things like that without training, right? We can't even, we can't even win a carom board game without training. Right, right, right. You can't win a game of chess without training. You can't win any game, which is just a game. How can you win in business uh, without training? So he was tempted by some three pe four people and they all went for a group discussion and somebody told, you take up the leadership because you are only having this second round Saturn and you are going to go to the top. So all his partners, uh, whenever they meet me, they always remind me of this story. Hmm. What a trap. I mean, they had to shut down the entire uh, thing and uh, a lot of government problems and so on. A lot of people complained to the police station and so on. So this Sade Sati is something um, where we could use it like uh, the best way, I, as I told you in the beginning, just consider the exam time, warning, caution, and then uh, do your guards you know, the faith, the prayer and everything and increase your charity, reduce your enjoyment. Mm. Because it doesn't match with Sade Sati, that's all. Mm. Correct. So all I know of a man who does not drink throughout the day, week but only drinks everything on Saturday. Oh. And, I, and I, kept, I kept warning him, I don't know, you're not going to give up drinks but, but at least don't drink on Saturday alone. And then I found it very strange that then I told him there will be when Sade Sati comes, you will be in trouble. I told that I think 15 years ahead of time. He never showed me his horoscope. It was not even a professional reading. It just happens to be a friend. Mm. 
and he said sir there's nothing called sadai sati there's nothing like saturn and uh, he said i'll i'll put that saturn into my pocket you know so many statements like that so i i didn't know what to do and when sadai sati came he was crying every day and he gave up drinks in sadai sati believe it or not it was just the opposite he gave it up entirely now is a teetotaler okay. so um, we could have tell tale signs like this um, but i always tell people wherever they are not a sanyas don't sport a beard don't tell the world that you are suffering hmm. if at all you sport a beard it should be stylish you know it, it has to be fashion okay. and uh, not uh, the ones like how uh, a swami ji might have right because hmm. they have renounced and they don't they're not interested in money hmm. and they're not going to work also they're hmm. not going to go to the office so for them the rules are different hmm. for them it is actually good so when I mean, if you go to the sanyas chapter in bphs the the connection is only saturn uh, saturn moon connection hmm correct either in uh, drekana or in the basic chart everywhere it's only sade sati thing only correct. all the time so, so the the uh, for a sanyas there cannot be a sade sati because he has already accepted it i am not i am not i am not going to write the exam at all in the first place so where is the question of failing Correct, correct. Life has become an exam. Like they'll have. Yeah, yeah. I'm not writing the exam. Yeah. I'm not writing the exam. So there is no failure also. Correct, correct. I'm not going for any job, and I'm not interested in money. I'm not interested in anything that you you people talk about. Then for them it is good. Whereas for a worldly person, he wants to make money. He has a certain moon conjunction in the horoscope. He has to be very careful. Hmm. Right. Okay. Thank you, Guruji, for your time today. This was an excellent discussion. We learnt a lot. You truly are a karma mentor. The way you explain Saturn and the way you relate it, it is so easy to understand and easy to learn. So, hopefully, all of us will learn from this, and you, as a guru, will help us get good marks during our examination time. You know, whenever it comes. So, thank you so much, Guruji. Anything you want to say? at the end i promised you when the meeting ends uh, it will be anuradha nakshatra 17th nakshatra <laughs> and the, is... the nakshatra of the honorable prime minister narendra modi <laughs> awesome <laughs> okay all right thank you guru ji hari om that was an amazing session with guru ji i learned a lot and i hope you benefited as well please like and subscribe if you like the content With that, namaste.